All the presidents of the United States. Can you name all the men who have been president of the United States of America? Unfortunately, not one woman has been elected president yet. Let's review all the 45 different people who've held the highest office in the land of America. We will start with the most recent and work our way back. Please give us a like or subscribe if you found our content helpful. Thanks. Joe Biden. Joe Biden is known for his extensive political career, serving as vice president under Barack Obama. He has focused on issues like healthcare reform, climate change, and international relations. Donald Trump. Donald Trump's presidency was marked by a focus on immigration reform, tax cuts, deregulation, and trade policies. He also had a significant impact on international relations, often using unconventional diplomacy methods. Barack Obama. Barack Obama is known for the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, efforts to address climate change, and his foreign policy approach. He was the first African American to hold the office of the U.S. President. George W. Bush. George W. Bush's presidency was marked by the September 11th attacks, leading to the War on Terror and the invasion of Afghanistan and Iraq. He also focused on education reform through the No Child Left Behind Act. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton presided over a period of economic growth and a federal budget surplus. He is known for his efforts to promote welfare reform and his involvement in the Oslo Accords between Israel and Palestine. George H. W. Bush. George H. W. Bush is remembered for his foreign policy achievements, including the end of the Cold War and the Gulf War. He also signed the Americans with Disabilities Act into law. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan is known for his economic policies, often referred to as reaganomics, which emphasized tax cuts and deregulation. He also played a significant role in ending the Cold War. Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter is known for his efforts to promote human rights and his negotiation of the Camp David Accords between Egypt and Israel. His presidency faced challenges like the Iran hostage crisis and economic difficulties. Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford is known for becoming president after Richard Nixon's resignation, following the Watergate scandal. He granted a full pardon to Nixon, attempted to address economic challenges, and promoted detente with the Soviet Union. Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon's presidency saw historic events like the Apollo 11 moon landing and the normalization of relations with China. However, his legacy is overshadowed by the Watergate scandal, which led to his resignation. Lyndon B. Johnson. Lyndon B. Johnson took office after the assassination of John F. Kennedy. He is known for his Great Society programs, which aim to combat poverty and promote civil rights, as well as his handling of the Vietnam War. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy is celebrated for his inspirational speeches, the Cuban Missile Crisis, and the initiation of the Apollo program that eventually led to the moon landing. He was assassinated in Dallas by Lee Harvey Oswald, shocking the nation. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Dwight D. Eisenhower was a World War II hero and focused on maintaining peace during the Cold War. He implemented the interstate highway system and issued warnings about the military-industrial complex. Harry S. Truman. Harry S. Truman made the decision to drop atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. He also played a key role in the formation of the United Nations and the implementation of the Marshall Plan. Franklin D. Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt led the U.S. through the Great Depression and most of World War II. He introduced the New Deal to combat economic challenges and provided vital leadership during times of crisis. The only three-term president. Herbert Hoover. Herbert Hoover's presidency was marked by the onset of the Great Depression. Despite his efforts, his administration struggled to effectively address the economic crisis, leading to his association with the challenges of the era. Calvin Coolidge. 
Calvin Coolidge is known for his support of business interests and limited government intervention. He presided over a period of economic prosperity, often referred to as the Roaring Twenties. Warren G. Harding Warren G. Harding's presidency was marred by corruption scandals, most notably the Teapot Dome scandal. He focused on a return to normalcy after World War I. Woodrow Wilson Woodrow Wilson is known for his leadership during World War I and his efforts to establish the League of Nations, which aimed to prevent future conflicts. He also signed significant domestic legislation, including the Federal Reserve Act and the Clayton Antitrust Act. William Howard Taft William Howard Taft is known for his emphasis on trust-busting and conservation. He was the only president to also serve as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court after his presidency. Theodore Roosevelt Theodore Roosevelt is famous for his energetic leadership, trust-busting efforts, and conservation initiatives. He expanded the national park system and played a significant role in promoting progressive policies. William McKinley William McKinley's presidency saw the Spanish-American War, which resulted in the acquisition of territories like Puerto Rico and the Philippines. He also oversaw a period of economic growth and expansion. Grover Cleveland Grover Cleveland is the only U.S. president to serve two non-consecutive terms. His first term was marked by economic depression, while his second term saw efforts to address economic challenges and labor unrest. Benjamin Harrison Benjamin Harrison is known for signing the Sherman Antitrust Act into law, aimed at promoting fair competition in business. He also oversaw efforts to increase tariffs and federal spending. Chester A. Arthur Chester A. Arthur became president after the assassination of James A. Garfield. He is known for supporting civil service reform and modernizing the Navy. James A. Garfield James A. Garfield's presidency was short-lived due to his assassination. He advocated for civil service reform and aimed to reduce the influence of patronage in government appointments. Rutherford B. Hayes Rutherford B. Hayes is known for ending the Reconstruction era by withdrawing federal troops from the South, effectively concluding the period of post-Civil War military occupation. Ulysses S. Grant Ulysses S. Grant served as the commanding general of the Union Army during the Civil War. His presidency was marked by efforts to combat corruption and promote civil rights for African Americans. Andrew Johnson Andrew Johnson became president after Abraham Lincoln's assassination. He faced challenges during the early days of Reconstruction and his clashes with Congress over issues related to civil rights in the South. Abraham Lincoln Abraham Lincoln's presidency was dominated by the Civil War. He is known for his leadership in preserving the Union, issuing the Emancipation Proclamation, and delivering the Gettysburg Address. James Buchanan James Buchanan's presidency was marked by rising tensions between North and South over issues like slavery. His handling of the growing secession crisis is often criticized for failing to prevent the Civil War. Franklin Pierce Franklin Pierce's presidency was dominated by issues related to the expansion of slavery into newly acquired territories. He supported the controversial Kansas-Nebraska Act, which exacerbated sectional tensions. Millard Fillmore Millard Fillmore became president after the death of Zachary Taylor. His administration is known for the Compromise of 1850, a series of legislative measures aimed at addressing issues related to slavery and the newly acquired Mexican territories. Zachary Taylor Zachary Taylor, a military hero from the Mexican-American War, focused on preserving the Union while facing debates over the extension of slavery into newly acquired territories. James K. Polk James K. Polk is known for his expansionist policies, often referred to as Manifest Destiny. His presidency saw the annexation of Texas, the Oregon Trail Settlement, and the Mexican-American War, which resulted in the acquisition of substantial territory. John Tyler John Tyler became president after the death of William Henry Harrison. 
His presidency was marked by disagreements with his own party, and he faced challenges related to economic issues and sectional tensions. William Henry Harrison William Henry Harrison's presidency was the shortest in U.S. history, lasting only 32 days due to his death from pneumonia. He is known for delivering a lengthy inaugural address in inclement weather. Martin Van Buren Martin Van Buren's presidency faced economic challenges, including the Panic of 1837. He is known for his role in establishing the modern Democratic Party and for his diplomatic efforts. Andrew Jackson Andrew Jackson is known for his role in expanding suffrage to more white males, often called the age of Jacksonian democracy. He also opposed the Second Bank of the United States and championed populist principles. John Quincy Adams John Quincy Adams is known for his diplomatic achievements, including the Adamsonis Treaty with Spain. He advocated for internal improvements and a strong federal government. James Monroe James Monroe's presidency is often referred to as the era of good feelings. He issued the Monroe Doctrine, warning European powers against further colonization in the Americas. James Madison James Madison presided over the War of 1812 against Britain, which led to the burning of the White House. He is often referred to as the father of the Constitution due to his key role in its drafting. Thomas Jefferson Thomas Jefferson's presidency saw the Louisiana Purchase, which significantly expanded the territory of the United States. He is also known for his advocacy of individual rights and limited government. John Adams John Adams was a key figure in the American Revolution and played a role in negotiating the Treaty of Paris that ended the Revolutionary War. His presidency faced challenges such as the XYZ Affair and the passage of the Alien and Sedition Acts. George Washington George Washington was the first president of the United States and is often referred to as the father of his country. His leadership during the Revolutionary War and his efforts to establish the young nation's institutions are highly esteemed. Who will be the next president of the United States? Who was the best ever president, in your opinion? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.